Best NVIDIA Control Panel Settings for Gaming Hey everyone, today I've got a video lined up to walk you through getting the optimal NVIDIA Control Panel Settings. If this video gives you a hand, do me a favor and hit that like button down below and leave a comment sharing how it helped you out. Alright, let's dive into the video. Alright, let's dive into getting those NVIDIA Control Panel Settings optimized. First off, right-click on your desktop and look for Show More Options. You should find NVIDIA Control Panel there. If it's not there, don't sweat it. Just head over to the link I've popped in the description. It'll whisk you off to the Microsoft Store where you can download NVIDIA Control Panel hassle-free. Once you've got it installed, open it up. Now, when you launch NVIDIA Control Panel, you'll probably have to agree some terms and conditions. Ah, typical stuff. Once you're in, you'll land on the Adjust Image Settings with Previews screen. Make sure you're there. Now, before you delve into the advanced 3D image settings, hit Use My Preference Emphasizing. Initially, it'll probably set to quality, but just slide that bad boy over to performance. Click Apply and don't freak out if your screen freezes for a sec. It'll thaw out soon enough, promise. Next up, you'll want to head over to the advanced 3D image settings. Click on Take Me There and here's where things get crucial. Pause the video here and take your time to replicate each and every one of these settings. Now, let's talk about some key adjustments that'll really make a difference. One of the biggies is the power management mode. Make sure you've got this set to prefer maximum performance. It's a straightforward tweak. Just hit the drop down menu, it'll likely be on normal, switch it over to prefer maximum performance. This setting ensures that your graphics card maintains a higher clock speed consistently rather than fluctuating to lower speeds. Trust me, this one's a game changer. Alright, let's tackle the next trio of game changing settings still within the 3D settings menu. First up, let's talk about triple buffering and threaded optimization. You'll want to turn off triple buffering and ensure threaded optimization is switched on. These tweaks are seriously vital for optimal performance. Now, onto low latency mode. Set this baby to ultra. You could fiddle around with it, sure, but I'd recommend sticking with Ultra for minimal input delay. However, if you notice any increase in input lag, feel free to switch it to ON instead. Oh, and if you encounter any hiccups along the way, don't stress. Just hit Restore Defaults to reset everything back to square one. It's super simple. With these straightforward adjustments, get ready to experience a massive improvement in your gaming sessions. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Alright, let's move on to configuring the Surround Physics X. Now, when it comes to Physics X processor, you want to ensure it's utilizing your GPU, not your CPU. After all, that's what your GPU is there for, right? So, just double check that it's set to your GPU. In my case, it's a 3060 Ti. Yours might be the same or different depending on your setup. Once you've sorted that out, head over to Change Resolution. Make sure you're selecting your primary monitor. For me, it's my LG monitor. Set the refresh rate to the highest available. In my case, it's 240Hz. Yours might be 144Hz, 60Hz, 75Hz, or whatever you've got. Aim for the highest one. Now, regarding resolution, stick with the PC section and choose your native resolution. Typically 1920 by 1080 for most folks, but it could be 1440p, 4K, or even higher. Just avoid those wonky lower resolutions and you'll be golden. Now, let's finalize things by applying some video color settings. Scroll down to apply the following settings and hit use NVIDIA settings. This step enhances the color settings for your monitor and trust me, it really does make a difference. Set the desktop color depth to 32 bit, output color to RGB, output color depth to 10, and output dynamic range to full. Once you've got those set up, hit apply and you're good to go. As for adjusting desktop color settings, focus mainly on digital vibrance. This one's crucial, especially for darker games like Fortnite, especially on those high settings. Set it around 90%. Now, you can skip over Rotate Display. Just keep it on Landscape Mode. HDCP settings, no need to worry about those either. Moving on to adjusting desktop size and position, honestly, this one's not a biggie. Just make sure it matches your current resolution settings like 1920 by 1080 at 240Hz. And keep it on Aspect Ratio. Easy peasy. And that's a wrap! Your settings are now optimized for the best gaming experience possible. Now, let's talk about setting up G-Sync. This feature is a game changer for monitors that support it. Essentially, it syncs your frame rate with the refresh rate of your monitor, which means if you're running at 144Hz, your game will always match that. So, if your FPS dips, your monitor's refresh rate will adjust accordingly, reducing screen tearing. Just toggle this on if your monitor supports it. Personally, I switch it on for intense gaming sessions to smooth things out. Moving on to setting up multiple displays, if you've got more than one monitor, you'll want to configure them here. Pretty straightforward. As for adjusting video color and image settings, not much to fuss about there. 
Now, RTX Video Enhancement. This can give your videos a bit of a boost, especially if you're watching high-resolution content on platforms like YouTube. Setting it to 3 is a good middle ground for most cases. Finally, hit apply and you're all set. And hey, if you ever want to go back to square one, just hit restore default easy peasy. And that's pretty much it. Your settings are now optimized and ready to roll. I hope this video covered everything you were looking for and helped you out in every way possible. If you still have questions or need assistance, feel free to drop a comment below. Either I or one of your fellow viewers will be sure to lend a hand. Until next time, stay safe, take care, and peace out.